It's microscope time now. I finally received the two microscopes I ordered yesterday for BAM scope. Uh, this video is going to be freehand, so if it's jittery, sorry. Nothing I can do about it. First one up is the bigger one. This is the uh, B120 series. B standing for binocular um, educational microscope uh, it's got the nice little standard stage which is nice this one has a LED projector so it's doesn't get quite as hot now here is the big reason why I got this particular scope that is these two knobs here do X and Y. Okay, so they move the stage that way and they move the stage that way. Right? This moves it on the X, this moves it on the Y. And this is the very interesting design that the uh, person had posted on the Thingiverse a couple years ago. Unfortunately, not updated. Fortunately, it attaches to the scope absolutely perfectly. So there, the red part here is, right now it's even press fit, it's, it's tight enough that it's holding on its own. And then there's a little geared stepper motor here, and then another one here, and then these two gears. Now there are supposed to be gears that get attached to here and here, these knobs. Unfortunately, my knobs are slightly different size than the original design, so I've got to redesign probably an open SCAD gears for this and this, for the X and the Y. While I'm at it, I'm probably going to redo these green gears that get press fit into the stepper motors. Uh, they're just, I, I would rather have a little bit finer gear than these. So this was a really pleasant surprise. I want to see if this design is going to work. It's much cleaner than the design that I came up with and it doesn't use belts. It's direct drive. So we'll see how much torque it has. So really excited with that one. I'm going to have to print out a bunch of failed prints today probably to get it going. Second one which I'm interested in. This is uh, again, so this scope uh, with extra eyepieces is $200 American, so very affordable, good quality, it's all steel. Made in China, of course, but uh, it really cuts the cost down. The second one is this guy here. This is an inverted microscope. And this is uh, kind of designed for homeschooling or classroom. Let me put a lens in. It's uh, not anywhere near as fancy. It's all, it's plastic. So this is plastic, plastic, plastic. The light, uh, let's see, light comes from the top. The lenses are in the bottom. Hence the inverted. Uh, the lens, eyepiece lens, is plastic, but it is a standard uh, hole, so it's, they'll use the, like here's, I'll put the eyepiece in from the bigger, better scope, so you can put in standard eyepieces in here, and cameras, more importantly, because this one I wanted to put a camera here, and I am going to remove this fixed crappy plastic well for seventy dollars that I mentioned it's seventy dollars it's pretty inexpensive but I really like this because I I see that I could take off the stage with just like three screws and I'm going to replace this with a completely 3D printed unit where I can do the X and Y on here. So I could have automated XY movement 
and have a camera with decent but not great lenses. Yeah, this scope I think goes up to 200 power. I did do a test of 100 power between this one and the bigger boy and uh, this one's pretty good. It's pretty good. I mean I'm certainly no microscope expert but uh, it looked pretty decent. So this one I'm also very excited about because this is going to be complete automation of the stage. Removal of this, replacement with something else. So interesting to see what happens with that. That's all for now.